super crispy. Playmakers. Okay. Auto marvelous, kind of this spin it. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Got my boy, Clinic Clutchiness. <laughs> um, we are finally beginning to work on. No, we're not. It's a, it's a lie. It's right. A we're not even here right we're now. We're not here right now. But yeah, so we decided that what better time to go ahead and start getting this thing uh, wrapped up, man. Or started rather, not wrapped up. Um, the first kind of step to what we're doing in today's video is we're going to be disassembling the front end. So bumper and fenders are coming off because we are going to prep the engine bay for not paint. Not paint. You know what I'm saying? You saw the title of the video. So let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see, we got it stripped down. It's pretty much all the way, all the way stripped down. So um, now that we got everything done, um, Kenny's actually probably pretty much going to take over from this point. We'll probably throw the time lapse of him doing uh, cleaning and, and right, the time lapse of, uh, you know, scuffing everything down and just prepping it and uh yeah so that's pretty much it man I'll show you guys i got the the hood off i'm probably i was trying to decide if i wanted to keep the stickers and tape them or remove them completely um this is not going to be like a full-on like strip and tuck and all we're not about to do all that i'm about to just tape up all the electricals and pretty much uh and like the reservoir stuff like that and like the um, I'm not really worried about the uh, suspension because that's getting replaced anyway. But yeah, pretty much tape up all the essential stuff that needs to be taped up and everything is going to get the action. The action, you know what I'm saying? The business. Pretty much. But uh, yeah. Anybody got any pots? <laughs> All right, quick update. So basically, I started getting most of these guys out the way, right? Now, I, I'm not sure if we're gonna do just completely tear everything out. Uh, you know, I know we wanna get it as clean as possible, but uh, I, you know, I mean, it's a Honda, right? It's an older car. Stuff like this is rusted to crap, you know what I'm saying? So. I've got everything pretty much clean on this side here. You can see, obviously I'm gonna have to scuff all of this, sand it and uh, prep it and get all this gunk out of here. But I've got all the harness out. I'm probably gonna wind up leaving this guy here. So, cause I could, you know, get this done up, get that side painted. And then once it dries, I can bolt it all back in and just basically situate it. So that's kind of the game plan I'm gonna go with here. We'll see if that works or not. If it doesn't, we'll adjust as we go, but yeah. Got all this guy out, all of this, all the harness on that side. I think I'm gonna be able to get away with just popping this guy out and a few of these other ones out, get this out the way, and then I'm just gonna tape it back here so it's out the way. And that'll give me the ability to get it pretty clean in here. Um, let's see, that's kinda it. So I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse. I'm gonna undo a few more things, then start taping up, and then we'll start scuffing. See what we can get done. Let's go.
sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so let's flip it. Bam. Super crispy. I it didn't it didn't give me as much headache as I was expecting. Um, but the material that I was using. If you guys decide to use this stuff, here, let me uh, show it to you here. Works really, 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 really well, right? You can get it close. Chris. Factory matte finish. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> but, um, no, it looks really good. Um, I wish I would have took some more of it apart, but um, taking it apart and then trying to remember where every little nook and cranny went, it's probably gonna be massive headache, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how it looks. It looks super nice. Now it's just time for a motor. Let's get it. Pretty much I got most of what I wanted to get done today for my fill-in day. <laughs> Trey don't get used to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm overall happy with every, how everything came out. Basically, um, you know, we're gonna keep rocking, we're gonna keep rolling on this thing, see if we can't get as much product, uh, progress. Gosh, I can't talk, it's been a long day. Progress as possible, but uh, let's go around. Uh, hopefully the time lapse showed, peeling all these guys. Looks really, really good. Highly, highly, highly recommend Raptor, okay? You guys decide to do that on your Jeeps or your whatever else your other vehicle is that's non lewd material. Raptor looks really good, gives it an OEM finish for sure. Um, however, like I said earlier, cans do run out really quickly. All right, so that about wraps it up. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Hit it in the limit. I got some cake.